What's up you guys, I'm back and I'm ready to finish this. So, gonna mount the downpipe and then get the intercooler piping put in, injectors, and yeah, not a lot left to do. Let's get to it. Downpipe's in. And I forgot about this. Gotta put the fitting on and finish hooking up the drain. Okay, this is freaking impossible to do. I was probably spent half an hour trying to get it in there. It's not, it looks like it's in there, but it's not. It'll just pop out as soon as I pull on that. <clears throat> Waiting for Jeremy or someone to come help me do that. Um, probably put in this intercooler piping though. And then uh, try to do the injectors. Right, I just slightly adjusted the wastegate. Um, it comes set like eight to 10 pounds, I believe. That's what people are saying. So I lengthened it, lengthened it one full rotation. I don't know how much that's going to do, but um, all you have to do is undo this lock nut, pull off the C-clip, and then this spins on the shaft. And if you lengthen it, then that'll give you less boost, making it easier to, less tension on the spring, so it's easier to open. And then if you shorten it, it'll make it more tension on the spring, more boost. That's all good. Uh, I hope I don't get a leak there though because I think that clamp is a little bit too big. For the injectors, all you gotta do is take the two screws out, pop the cap off, and then pry them out with a flathead without breaking them. There it is. And for installing them is the same thing. All you gotta do is just pop them in. Make sure you gotta lube the O-rings though with some Vaseline or whatever, or oil. They gave me this lube though, so I'll use that. I probably spent a solid hour of time trying to get this C-clip to go in there properly. I had my friends help me, and it was basically hell. I still don't even know if I got it fully, but it's not coming off, and yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really look like it's all the way in there, but I can't do any better than this, so <clears throat> I'm putting it in, and hopefully it doesn't leak. I, like with this off I blew on it as hard as I could and it, there's no air coming out but obviously that's not close to as much pressure as the turbo is going to be making but uh, whatever alright you guys yesterday before I went inside I put the fenders on put the headlights in because I'm going to need those before I drive it and did these vacuum lines so here's the fuel pressure regulator uh, vacuum line I teed off of that over to this T and the one side goes to the boost gauge and the other side comes through here through that little filter there and under the blow off valve and then I just kinda taped up those wires I need to run loom but I'll do that later as for the exhaust situation goes, uh, it doesn't fit up, so I messed around with the downpipe a little bit, and I've come to the conclusion it's not. This exhaust isn't gonna work. 
well, not the whole thing. Um, what I'm going to do is, once I get it running, I'm just going to drive to my buddy's house and have, without boosting, you know, I'll just carefully drive there without going into boost because I don't really want to do that without my wideband hooked up. <coughs> and then he's going to go from here to here with 3 inch and then I can get this bung welded on so that'll stay there this O2 sensor and then I'll get the bung welded in for my O2 sensor somewhere on there and then I'll have 3 inch turbo back all the way back and yeah it's gonna suck driving there though without boosting and right now what I'm doing I'm just opening up my uh, wideband gauge so I'm gonna start getting this all situated and swap the bezel over get rid of the black I like the white face better because that's what I got in here I think it looks good so I'm gonna have black bezel with white face plate I think that'll look better there's black on black Okay. So I'm thinking I'm gonna mount the gauge right, right about there. I would like to mount it like here, but it's just too curvy there. This thing won't it won't rest flush. So I gotta do a little higher. Here just in the way. Doesn't look good, I don't think. And I could do it down here right with the, where that uh, outlet is. It looks really clean, but that's a lot more of a glance to look down there than it is to look right here. So, that's where it's going. There it is, did a little bit of dremeling here, a little bit of dremeling here, and then when it's put together, it looks like that. So, little bit of wiggle room with these wires, not much. Yeah. The wiring is simple, it's just a power and a ground, and then the other two are for data logging and that, so they're optional, I'm not going to be using those. And then, obviously, that goes to the sensor. So I'm going to do that. Charging the battery up, because it is dead. Very dead. And pretty much the last thing to do is put the brain in. Which is pretty easy, it just plugs in. Yes, yeah, stay. Stay. Don't drink the coolant. No. Sit. Okay, so I gotta put the uh, ECU in. It's just plug and play. Except for it's got the big harness, so I don't know how I'm gonna be able to fit it in there. Oh my goodness. What? See, now I have to try and fit that. All of that in there. Hmm. There's how I have it. Kind of comes down here, connects to the harness, and loops around. <clears throat> None of these are getting pulled on, so should be good. I don't know if this is gonna fit so well, but it's best I can get it. So we'll see. All right, all I gotta do is put coolant in, oil in, put the car on the ground now, and then we'll see if she starts. Is she leaking out the bottom? Well, no leaks. We seem to be good down here. Look at that. It's just at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too much. <laughs> Alright, before we started, I gotta prime the oil line. So I gotta take out the, uh, unplug the distributor, and then take out the fuel pump, fuse, crank it till I get oil pressure, and then we'll start it. Shit. No power. My battery's dead. Oh, fuck. I need a jump start. Yeah. Derek, rev it again. That intake is so loud. Uh, 
The sieve. Which one goes to what? Well, you gotta make your negative. My gauge isn't even reading, so I don't know. Alright, hopefully there's oil there. Dad's replied to me. Do you have some? Uh, I have red and white. Where's the white one? Yeah, I don't know. It's a camera D. Hopefully, uh, a bunch of this stuff. How loud? Yeah. Loud! Loud! Here it is. You ready? Yeah. Wait, First wait, wait, start. I'm gonna bust your eardrums. No, oh, yeah, go. no, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. We gotta prime the fuel, too. Okay, wait, let me restart. Do you put your fuel Tell filter in? Tell me when you're about to turn it. No, but I'm doing that later. That's what I need. Tell me when you're about to turn the key. Go on. Set. <laughs> change colors. Yeah, I gotta wait till the thermostat opens for the water temp. How do you like the cockpit? Everything seems good so far. Jess doesn't, unless he's in gear. Unless he's in gear. Unless there's load on it. Yeah, that's what it is. And like, you can't just, you won't hear any blow off or anything until there's load on it. That's weird. Can you do the turbo spooling now? Yeah. Alright, car seems to be running pretty decent, I guess. It started, so that's a step number one. But it seemed to be stalling out, <coughs> or wanting to stall out when I was revving it a bit there. Uh, I just put in the O2 sensor, well, I took out the narrow band and put in my wide band. It's way too close to the turbo, which is why I'm not putting it there, but it smells like it's run really rich, so I want to have it plugged in just kind of around, and I'm just going to start it see what it reads. Seems good. As soon as I give it any gas, then it just dropping down. Huh. All right. So I'm gonna go for a little drive. Uh, I got the wide band in there. It's just going under the hood through the window for now. Um, it's too close to the turbo, but hopefully it'll read all right. I'm just going for a short drive. I just want to make sure that the car will run and get me to my friend's house when he's available. Hopefully tomorrow he hasn't answered me back yet, but yeah, I just want to make sure it runs. <clears throat> it doesn't stall out on me. So yeah, not going to be boosting or doing anything crazy. And I'll update you guys when I get back.